Hey guys, John Edge again with Sick. Hey, it is the weekend and I know school's out, but technically we're out for a long time. It looks like till forever. So we're at a state park this weekend with my two nephews, Hayes and Waker. They're basically family and live right next to us. So a social distancing for us is pretty much staying together. Um, anyway, we're at the state park here in DeSoto in North Alabama, and we're gonna get our uh, uh, six flow meter and do some testing on these falls to see what the flow rate is on it. Y'all ready, guys? Yeah! yeah! All right, back to you. All right, this time we came way up the creek where well, the water's not moving near as fast, and we got Hayes and Shepard here ready to climb up a little bit uh, to get this. Hayes, we're gonna demonstrate, uh, put it in. Uh, right now we got a 0% flow. He's gonna put it all the way in. Uh, what you got there, Hayes? 33%. Now stick that thing all the way under the water, Hayes. You see, this is IP67, fully submersible, uh, up to three meters. All right, Hayes, you can pull it out. And what's your coffee temperature? 60 degrees. 60 degrees. Maintain the same. All right, so now we, now we got Shep measuring a point at, uh, it looks like to be a little slower. All right, so we're going to put it in and put it so it's all at the bottom, Shep. What are you seeing on your flow rate percentage? As you can see, this thing is waterproof. IP, IP67. 51. Huh? 51. 51 percent, which is about 440 meters per second. Uh, the temperature pulled out, Chef. I bet it's the same. 60 degrees? Yeah. All right. Okay, Hayes has the flow meter in hand. All right, hold the, hold the screen up, Hayes. You can see. And it's reading zero percent. I got to set it set at Fahrenheit, so it's at sixty-four percent. All right, Hayes, put it down on this little part right here. Let's see what it does. You tell us what it is. What percent is it? And what's temperature? About thirty. Okay, so right now we got about three hundred uh, uh, meters per second when he when he puts it all the way in. It goes to the max out, and then what you got on your temperature? Sixty degrees. The water's cold. All right, we'll do another flow rate. This is the creek that we're up at, right here, all the way down. Go down to still water. All right. So I have Chef and Hayes here, and Irie and Waker in the background. We've done done. Uh, this is our last uh, demo, and we're at the bottom of this creek that's coming through here to this pool. We're gonna raise the flow rate. We assume it's gonna be high or low, guys. I think it's gonna be low. It's gonna be lower. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Stick it in there, Chef. Tell us what you got. Tell us what the temperature is, too. Hey, guys. 14. 14%? And then what's the temperature? And the temperature is 60. 60. So the temperature remains the same on all four counts. Flow rate got uh, lower. Um, as you uh, well, started low, got faster as you went down, and then got to really low when it pulled up. So we expect it. Okay, we just got back from doing our demo. We did four measuring points down at the creek. Uh, we started at the top and went down two layers and then we went to the bottom. The top layer um, went at what haze? Was it 30% yep. from the first initial fall? Then it got all the way up to 51% that Shep was measuring. And then it kind of planed off and went to like 33%. Yep. And then as it went to the bottom and kind of pulled up, it was at 14%, correct? Uh -huh. The temperature, it remained the same the whole time, right? 60. 60 degrees the whole time. It was pretty cold. Um, not as cold as it is in Minnesota, um, but this is uh, this is the kind of the quick recap for the, our FTS um, uh, flow meter from Sick. Um, I'll do um, another um, demo uh, later when we get back because we have no internet here um, to uh, to show you what Sopus was saying on that as well. All right, thanks guys. All right, everybody, we are back from my camping trip in North Alabama. This is Shep with me. Um, we're going to do a little quick recap of the FTS uh, flow sensor. This is a thermal flow sensor from SICK. Um, it can, uh, this probe can be anywhere from 60 to 200 millimeters. Uh, Shep, what was the temperature rating again? 150. 150 degrees C, which is in the 300 range in F. He asked Google and Google told him that. Um, these things can be used in various applications. We have a IP67 version, which you saw it submerged. We also have an IP69K version for hygienic um, and food and beverage type applications. So you can use it for a cleaning place, um, uh, for, for cleaning agents, um, any water-based solubles, um, or any just water uh, for pump dry, 
um, or if you're pumping oil in like a, um, a machining application. So if uh, the cool thing here, you get flow and temperature, easy installation, it's IO link um, enabled, has two outputs um, for your flow and your temp temperature. And if you have any questions, feel free to give John Edge a call, uh, 205-352-5980. Also, you can just visit sick.com, put in FTS, it'll pull up all the information for you. And uh, looking forward to seeing everybody soon. Thanks.